Huh? I'm just tired today. I gotta get home early. Are you thinking of traveling with us today, sir? Okay, enjoy the flight. Why is we in such a fun? I love listening to the sounds of the city. You listen to New York, it seems like everything's gonna be okay. Should drive.
I need it open. We Roger gotta stay that. tight. He's over there. We'll do. I can't take it. I'm I'm moving in. place for me my Blow it up. These places we keep meeting, Mr. Roth? Shibbles. You're supposed to be a millionaire? Hey now, spread out, will ya? Hold up. I like him skinny or something. I ain't picky. Would you like to book a flight, sir? Have a pleasant flight, sir. Oh. I mean it, lo siento. It'll never happen again. Idiotas. Uh, 
huh? I'm just tired today. I gotta get home. Go, go, go. Maybe I can. Places we keep meeting, Mr. Roth? They're fucking shitholes. Ain't he supposed to be a millionaire? <laughs> Over here! Sure thing. He's over there! Time to go! Get behind something! turn and I think I can crack it not that way it's a trap Fuck. still out there It's gonna blow! Put that away! Hey, something that's different about you. These places we keep meeting Mr. Roth. The fuck? Ain't he supposed to be a millionaire? I'm coming, I'm coming. Not a bad place, huh? I prefer to sweep back at my hotel, but hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Exchanging 
favors with an ordinary man is one thing, but having a judge, DA, or police chief in your pocket means you have influence. Get a union boss on your side, and he can order his men to rebuild the bombed business. Some people can spring your men from prison or a hospital, call off the police when they're on your tail, or even put a rival family member behind bars for a while with a sting. Best thing about these favors is that they can be called in at any time. It pays to have friends in high places. The Granados ain't like the Rosado brothers. They're organized and they're connected. You gotta think a couple moves ahead with these guys. They show these Granados douchebags how we do things in New York. <laughs> Listen to you, fucking General Patton over here. You know what's gonna happen if you keep killing innocent people? Will you be flying with us today, sir? Okay, you're all set. Thanks for flying with us today. I should visit my brother in Jersey while I'm here. To mail a letter? Are they kidding? Give me some space, muchachos. Whatever. Hey, gents. All those people, it looked like they might start arriving. Jump in! Aside, Something seems guys. the matter. You need help? Yeah, this woman has been making trouble, and I need someone to let her know it's not appreciated. Want to lend a hand? Yes. Do you want him dead, Chief? This Vietnam thing, it'll be over this is no time. I saw you. Look like you might need some help. I need to remodel a shop. My competitor's shop. I'm partial to designers who use baseball bats. Sound like your style? Sure. Anyone got a flask? I could use it. Sir, my respects. I'm on a hot streak. 
You cats want to watch your step? Over there! Take this! Hey, why do you let me try? Let's go! Move it! Quit it now! Go back to your cardboard box. You look like you need some help. Man, am I glad I found you. This guy crossed me big time. I just need someone to rough him up a little. Can you do it? Yes. Looks like you need a favor. I'll put it right out there. There's a woman I need killed. Murdered. I see you're not afraid of those words. Why don't we talk? Sure. Hello. I see one over there. Bad scene. So we cut out early. Gotta keep things copacetic. Radio. I never heard anything so far. Hey, babe, what's wrong? Looks like you could use some help. Yeah, there's something I need you to take from someone. It's not stealing if they stole it from me in the first place, right? Want to help? Yes. One too many martinis. going on guys said he wanted to be a hippie when he grows up like I'm sorry I'm blind Dominic what was the last time you heard from Mr. Roth Hey, talk to me. It's Hyman Roth. Oh, Mr. Roth. Hello. You don't have to be formal with me, Dominic. Listen, swing by my house when you have some time. There's more business to discuss. We gonna see Mr. Roth now? My gut tells me he's got some important Look, man, news. I'm trying to walk here. What's on your mind? You need a favor? You got anything against stealing? I need to pinch something off these guys. Can you help a fella out? Sure. What's wrong? Looks like you could use some help. Yeah. There's something I need you to take from someone. It's not stealing if they stole it from me in the first place, right? Want to help? Yes. Having a good that day. That cat's a goner. If we do it my way. What is wrong with you today? Some good so what do you think Mr. Roth's game is, huh? I mean, he acts like some retired old fuck, but there's no way he's out of his life. Not yet. I don't know. He always had his eyes set on Cuba. Roth still thinks it's the land of opportunity. Will you be flying with us today, sir? Okay, enjoy the flight. He's in the way, but not Let me give you guys some space. Let me know. First time in an airplane?
What's the score? It's tied. I like listening to football in the afternoon. Baseball, too. I've loved baseball ever since Arnold Rothstein fixed the World Series in 1919. I'm sure he made a lot of people very angry. He also made a lot of people very rich. It's only a crime if you get caught. If not, it's only business. There's a lot we can learn from sports. Invest in the future, Dominic. Expand your family. Recruit another soldier. You'll need the extra muscle to keep the Granados at bay. Remember, family members can be sent to defend a place even when you're not there. Businesses like football. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. To make it in this life, you'll have to invest. Not just in your businesses, but your family. Whenever you can, check what new skills you and your men can learn. Some skills improve your fighting, and some your aim. Finally, remember that any weapon you find can be purchased for your family as well. Give your men the right hardware, and they'll get the job done. It's time to bring someone into the family, Dominic. He's always early to everything. If you don't want to lose your rackets, you could pay some guards to protect them. Or you could go there. Keep things safe. I don't know. I gotta think about what I'm gonna do. about my new hair. So sue me. I'm a man. I can't notice everything you change about. Hello, Dominic. What do you want, Captain? My nose is clean. Just be cool, okay, Dominic? Look, I'm Wayne Reisdorf, Chief of Police. You were referred to me by Michael Corleone. Yeah, that's right. I've known the Don for years. He said you might be able to help me. How do you know Don Corleone, huh? Look, the Corleones helped me out of a jam when I lived in New York. He took care of a few skeletons for me. And when Michael needed a favor in return, I was there for him. Well, now it's society that needs a favor. Justice, really. Listen up. We hauled in a serial rapist a few months back. He was preying on the girls from Luscious. But my detectives botched the evidence, and bam! Just like that, the bastard's back on the streets. But the worst thing is that this cocky little shit looked me in the eye and told me he'd do it again. I can't let that happen. I want him dead. Will you do it? Okay, I'll do it. But this is gonna bring down a lot of heat on me. So I'll need something done in return. The next time your boys are chasing me down, call them off. Just give them the code to back away. I'll see you around, Reisdorf. Saw a couple of cute numbers in Daddy's car back there.
man. I didn't do anything. Do? Now you're you should have run when you had that fucking chance. Let's jump in. Remember, these are just innocent people. about you didn't get laid once the whole time we were down here get out of the way hey when was the last time you heard from Don Corleone Dominic, Michael, how are you? Not good. Something's come up. I need you back in New York right away. I'll get on the next available flight. Good. I need your help. I'll see you soon. Hey, it's not football here. A little space. Out of the fucking car! Get some help! There's gotta be a better way. The entire system is corrupt. What's going on? I can't get a flight out. Everything's closed. It's the airport workers. They're on strike. Whole place is shut down. Damn it. I need to get back to New York. What am I gonna do? Wait till it's over? And it's getting worse. Other places are threatening to strike too. Someone's been stirring up workers all over Florida. Talking about organizing labor, pooling wages, picketing. What? Someone's pushing that commie bullshit here? Sounds like it. I don't know. Mr. Roth knows more about it than I do. He's here with the friend. They're out in the parking lot. You should talk to them. Mr. Roth, good to see you. What brings you here? I'm here about this strike. It's disrupting our business. 
My friend and I have a vested interest in seeing the situation resolved quickly. His name is Henry Mitchell. He's an agent with the CIA. An agent? What is this? Dominic, relax. The CIA's our friend. They've been partners with this thing of ours for over a decade. They're in the intelligence business, my boy, that's all. We keep their noses clean, they keep us informed. Simple. Talk to them, okay? Chief, hey, we got Hello, someplace Dominic, nice right? Be. I'm Henry Mitchell. If you're wearing a wire, you better tell me now. Take it easy. I'm on your side, okay? No wire. Mr. Roth and I have been working together for a long time. I called him when I heard about the strike. Eh, they're just a bunch of picketers. They'll cool off eventually. No, it's not them. It's the guy behind them, Alejandro Almeida. He's a Cuban-American and a fucking commie. He's stirring up the city's unions, encouraging violence. The whole situation's out of hand. The feds can't nail him, and local politicians seem unwilling to crack down on him. Yeah, he's probably got him blackmailed. What do you need our help for? Well, officially, I'm just supposed to gather intelligence on Alejandro. But Mr. Roth and I have discussed it, and something else must be done. I hope you understand what I'm saying when I tell you it's in both our interests. If Alejandro were to just... disappear. Fucking commie's been all over the news lately. It's cause they're here, in this country. God knows what they got planned. There's gotta be a better way. The entire system is corrupt. Listen to me. I'm only gonna ask this once. Where's Alejandro Almeida? Almeida is my friend. I'll never tell you. Never. You don't want to mess with me. Fuck. How's that? Hey, not that. Huh? Come on, man. You want to be next? Is this commie shithead worth your life? Then tell me. Where's Almeida? Okay, okay. He and his men operate out of the old junkyard. It's not too far from here. He's crazy! Oh, God. Phew! Somebody been humping a skunk? I heard there was some shit going down at the airport. Right over Gun!
Now that that shit's finally over, let's go back to New York. I'm with you. Let's go home. Let me give you guys something. Would you like a ticket, sir? Okay. Enjoy the flight. Those two tickets cost me a fortune. I bet Don Corleone is waiting for you with the compound. You got the time? There's too many dead bodies, Chief. It just don't sit right with me. I heard Tom Hagen's in town. You know him, right, boss? Of course I know him. I started as an enforcer with the Corleones, back when I was just boosting cars. We all died. Dominic, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, why all the men? What's, uh, what's going on? The government has me under investigation. They want to put me in prison. Wait for me in the parlor. The Senate is building a case. They have subpoenas for my businesses in Vegas, here, Florida. Dominic, they have someone who will testify against me. Who? Frank Pentangeli. Frank's dead. I, I saw him die. What you saw was Rosado setting me up. The detectives found him half dead, scared stiff, calling out loud that I turned on him. Me? It's been a while, son. I was flowering. It was good, Tom. Dominic, Tom Hagen has been my consigliere, and now my attorney. He's also family. If the Senate is coming for me, they'll be coming for him too. I need to isolate him from my operations. He's going to join your family and be your consigliere. Tom will be removed from my payroll. Al Neri will handle the transition. Tom, pay a visit to the Senator. Dominic, you're making a name for yourself. Make sure people respect it. Goodbye. Consigliere. Just like old times. It's good to have you in the family, Tom. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Me too. There's been a lot Mike hasn't been able to tell me. But it's safer this way for both of us. You're my consigliere, Tom. I won't keep any secrets from you. Now, who was Michael talking about earlier? What senator? His name is Pat Geary from Nevada. He's a chairman on the Senate committee that's investigating Michael. We're gonna get him on our side, Dominic. Before this trial sees the light of day. It won't be easy. He's a United States senator. We can't just pay him off like some backwater judge. We won't have to. Sex is Geary's weakness. He's depraved. We're gonna use this against him. There's a brothel nearby. Some of the girls there are managed by a woman named Rosa Scarlatti. She runs a national prostitution ring. Not really our stock and trade, but she's been loyal to the Corleones for years. I'm coming! I'm coming! I hate these double shifts. We should start asking lots. That's wants why I get the right shotgun. 
Blackmailing a senator? This is serious business, Dominic. If Don Corleone goes to trial, shit, this whole thing of ours could be made public. Well, it's our job to make sure that don't happen. My name is Dominic. I know who you are. Tom told me you were coming. Did he tell you why I'm here? He did, and I can help him. But you guys are asking me to sacrifice a lot. A life. I won't play along just out of loyalty, Dominic. You'll have to do something for me first. It's a deal. So what do you want? I want protection. Look, the state of New York has evidence that can bring down my whole operation. But if they go to trial, a lot of powerful men will have their dirty laundry aired in public. Men who would rather see me dead than on the witness stand. All right. What kind of evidence? Books, records, basically a list of every Tom, Dick, and Harry I've done business with, including some men in Washington. The books are being held in a safe at the Federal Building. Get them back for me. Then I'll help you out. <laughs> Oh, man, I can't notice everything you change about yourself. Oye, Romeo, ¿qué pasa? Ah, you like Johnny Fontaine? He and I go way back. I could get us tickets front row next time he's in town. Keep it up, vaquero. But I hope you know how to walk the walk también. Know someplace quiet where we can get to know each other better? What do you say you and me get out of here? Go grab a drink. You're kidding, right? You really thought you and me? <laughs> I saw you. Look like you might need some help. How are you at leaning on somebody? There's a guy I know who needs to be taught a lesson. What do you say? Yes. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out, Chief. I see the fuzz coming. Ever think about showing me some proper respect? Hey, I need my space. Why don't you and the boys at the station give me some breathing room for a while? That's more than I make in a month. You got it. If the Soviets don't I know you? Moon, it would You're one of those wise guys, right? I take care of my friends, officer. I look out for them, and they look out for me. Understand? It's a deal. Just don't let things get too out of control, okay? Walking this beat's hard work, and don't pay much. Catch my drift? I seen you walking your beat. You know how things work around here. I could use a smart guy like you on my payroll. That's a lot of green, my friend. I'll take it. Look, I think we both know what you want. So why don't you just spit it out? Hey, I need my space. Why don't you and the boys at the station give me some breathing room for a while? It's a deal. But tell your buddies to do their business off my beat, okay? Come on, Jesus come on. Christ. Let me crack take it. a crack now. at that safe. There's one, I see him! Shit, almost had it. So it's a fight you want. It's a fight. I'm taking you He's in. finished, boss. Oh, I'm hit! What is this world coming to?
I've got everything you're looking for, muchacho. There's rainbows, there's roses, and there's you. The third, second, and first most beautiful things in the world. It'll be a cold day in hell before I sleep with you, chico. You know I get up. Please tell me you've done something about those records. The state's got nothing on you, Rosa. Or your clients. You're all safe now. Good, then let's get down to brass tacks. I already started making arrangements with Tom. We have the room and we have the girl. If Gary ever shows up here, we'll be ready for him. Wait, you talk to Tom? When? Just now. He's here. He wanted to see the girl we'll set up with the senator. It wasn't easy knowing what will happen. But her time has come. She's an addict. Bad for business. Maybe it's better this way. Looks like you need a favor. If you're not afraid to dance, then yes. I'm having trouble with a guy who needs to learn the, uh, fist-to-face foxtrot. Want to dance? Yes. Tom, it sounds like everything's all set. Almost. The only thing left now is to convince Senator Geary to pay a visit. He'll have to do it of his own accord. If Geary feels coerced into coming, he might see that it's a setup. I know. That's why you have to be careful how you talk to him. I've arranged a meeting for you. The senator thinks you want to talk about purchasing a company and that you need his help. Good. Now all I have to do is get Geary to take the bait. Best thing to do is to appeal to his vanity. Tell him you're having problems with the deal. Political problems, business problems, whatever seems to draw his attention. Geary's got connections. Make him think you're willing to deal if it'll get him on board. Now go. He's waiting for you. Hey, cutie. Did you know I'll be meeting a senator later? You must be something special, babe. You jealous? It's not like he's my boyfriend or nothing. Senator Geary, my name is Dominic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. This is a nice place your man Hagen found for us. But let's cut the bullshit. What did you want to talk to me about? Business, Senator. I have an opportunity to purchase a foreign company. But there are a few partners who refuse to sell. You know them. You worked at the trust together. I was hoping you could help. So your money talks the talk, but it can't walk the walk, is that it? Let me guess. These guys looked into what you really do for a living, didn't like what they saw. So why should I help you? Because nobody's connected like you, Senator. You pull strings every day. You're on every big ticket committee in Congress, and half of Wall Street owes you a favor. I need a man like you. You don't need me, then. You need my friends. But I'll tell you now, my friends don't like your friends. In fact, they despise your kind of people. Your silk suits and oily hair. My people are hard-working, Senator. Italians helped build this country, helped defend it. All I'm asking for is for my fair share of the American dream. Now, can I count on you to help me? Maybe. You talk about the American dream, but America doesn't owe you nothing. You gotta earn it, son. You can't even do that yourself. If you want my help, then tell me. What's really in it for you? Respect, Senator. I need your help because I'm tired of being in Michael Corleone's shadow. Is that such a bad thing? To make a name for myself? And if we get rich in the process, so be it. Now we're getting somewhere. See, it ain't about business or politics. It's about showing up your old boss. At least now you're being honest. So this deal, does anyone else know about it? No, just you and me. No one else needs to get a cut. That's why I want to move fast, before others get involved. So I need to know. 
Are you in or out? You know what? I don't have to like you, but I like your style. I'm in. I get my friends to help for a fee. But in deals like this, I usually expect there to be other benefits as well. Naturally. These partners have executive privileges at gentlemen's clubs all over America. If that's something that might interest you, I could make sure you get on the list, so to speak. Is that so? Yes. Well, indeed, I would like to be on that list. So to speak, of course. Well, Senator, as a token of my friendship, how would you like a complimentary stay at La Maison Rouge? In fact, feel free to visit any time you're in New York. You'll always be welcome. I like your style. Okay, Dominic, it's a deal. Thank you, Senator. I'll have Tom contact you with the details. You're all right. I'll see you around. Enjoy yourself, Senator. He's waking up. You should get over here. Thanks, Tom. I'm on my way. Tom? Come on, step away. I thought we could help you. Hagen, listen. I did not... I didn't do anything. I know. It's okay. You're very lucky I was called before anyone else. Nobody knows. Just a game. I... I'll fix it. How did it happen? I... I remember. She was laughing. I passed out. When I woke up, I was on the floor. <laughs> Senator, we're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. Jesus! Pat, look at me. This girl has no family. Nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as if she never existed. All that's left is our friendship. Stay here, Senator. Tom will send for someone to take you to the hotel. Dominic, I don't understand why I can't remember. That's good. The less you remember, the less you can talk about. But you can talk to me. Tell me, is there anything I should know? Anything that could help us both? Well, it, it may be nothing, but I chair the Committee on Organized Crime. I see papers and briefings. As far as we can tell, there's a new Cosa Nostra moving into Florida. Who? Who are they? The Mangano family, from Sicily. We thought they were going to set up shop in Cuba before the revolution. Now they've come here. I'm sorry, Dominic, that's all I know. What do you say we stop by Rose's when we're done? Gary's pretty shaken up. Make sure he stays that way. I'll put a tail on him, make sure he knows that he's being watched. Or protected, I suppose. <laughs>